Hello, everybody. Welcome along to the Hindsight Podcast. Great to have you back. And I can finally say the international break has left us alone because <laughs> one more week of that thing, I would have lost my damn mind. <laughs> I'll tell you that for real. Uh, we have a change to the arrangements today. And I'll tell you why that's happened. But first things first, it's good to always welcome a new face. Um, and I hope your face cap allows them to uh, see your face because mm-hmm. uh, you sort of made it, basically. Okay, okay, no, it's good. No, 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 you're, no, good. no, you're, no good. you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. I'm not like Wally. You see, I see, it's not stylish. We're, we're young people here. Um, no old souls here, but it's good to have you, Emmanuel, uh, on the pod for the very first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah So yeah, yeah. welcome to the show. Good to be on the show. So the thing I always uh, because tell because people... These guys, these guys intimidate you. That's why I have my... That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's why I have my one, right? I thought... <laughs> I tell you what, what I what I like to do, especially with uh, <laughs> with people who come on on the show for the very first time, is I tell you, you know, be free because I can tell that you know your heart is racing at a. You have a you have a smart watch because I if you checked it, you'll probably be at a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> no, but take it easy. We're here. Look, you're an avid listener of the podcast. We appreciate that. So it's good to have you spend some time with us. But um, there's good to have you back on the show. So I, I was on, I'm on Instagram on my timeline. I'm I'm looking at it and. This thing comes up. I'm not quite yeah. sure if you know Instagram have added watching us to listening to us, but this thing comes up every other time and says um, headphones, airport, something like that. For sale. What, what's it called? Oh, it's called an airport max. Airport max, right? That's yeah. what I'm. That's what, that's what I'm looking for. Airport max. Like, yeah. how do how do you go from how do you go from the the small things to this? I thought I, we I thought we went from that to that. No, or this no, to that. No, actually, I went for the smaller ones to this one. Yeah, you know the there's the Apple one too. Yeah, that's the, the 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 beauty about this one is it, it kind of maximizes the you know the sound that you are listening to and it deafens every other thing. Right. So, mm-hmm. you, so your but, environment is very quiet. You are only listening to this. Is it? Is it yeah. because you like the sound of your voice? Because you have a deep voice, so <laughs> you want to like hear everybody sound the same way as well. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, it's great to have you here, uh, Des. You're in Lagos for quite some time, so um, yeah. you're seeing Des more on the pod, and that's yeah. a great thing because you know one of the uh, very, very sound guys we have here. Luckily, Rufai is back as well. Uh, luckily, you missed last week, yeah? World Rufai. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. International breaks. Cut, it scrambles yeah. everybody's. Rufai, Rufai. Yeah. No, no, no. I was. I was here last yeah? week. No, Rufai, yeah. Rufai went to enjoy himself. When are you? No, when, I was when, here are, last when are you dyeing your hair back? Now, I, I said it before now. I'm having new ideas. I'm just... What kind of ideas? I'm still... Ah, come on now. I, I, don't go, I don't go tell you now until it happens. <laughs> but this one, this one, exactly. this one, this one probably Keep be them mad. Guessing. You get This one will probably be something that would, you know, you know, spark up conversations. Because right. I'm going... I'm going in. Mm. Yeah, but oh, I, yeah. I never decide yet, but... Great. At some point in time, we would have uh, would have Stan Sport on the show. So um, there's a lot to come on the episode today, and we have actually uh, set a stop clock. We want it to be one hour thirty minutes, uh, give or take. But hope the road was good to you, because at the time we, we actually actually give you special um, yeah. special um, <clears throat> kudos uh, for making it to the port today, because we had um, two people regulars cancel on us. So we basically had to make uh, a contingency, which is how you made it to the port. What it tells is that you have your Notifications turn on because the moment. No, it, 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 what happened was that after of my data, like the moment I just came online on Instagram. Right. The first thing I saw was one of my guy who said it was his birthday. So I was after I texted my guy. Yeah, I saw you guys post. I was like, ah, let me just check what's happening. Right. I didn't thought it was even before. I was like, ah, you mm. know, we need someone like this to be available in VR. I was like, ah, I did Osaka, Osaka VR at least in Ufana. Right. And I just hit up. And now I did a little check where you guys were. That's what 32 seconds ago. I was like, mad. Right. <laughs> mad time. <laughs> yeah, mad time. That's what I said, like, 32 seconds ago. I was like, ah, mad time. Oh. Mad time. That's what I just, I just had to like. So, were you, were you looking forward to it? I was looking forward to it, to right. be honest. Because if you check my idea, if I want to check my idea, you know, you see, say, I get all the time in our post, I'd be like, I did have a little bit, but I'm not going to be Oh, yeah? Because of this stuff. Like, yeah. you guys are not there. You guys are not having a little bit. Well, I was not like, oh. Anytime, anytime. We, I just actually hope. Yeah. You see, this is where they talk. Say, uh, uh, patient dog, they chop fat bone. You see the apple. Because me, I just say to the apple. <laughs> <True. again>. Because <laughs> they don't pick you for Zoom. Now nah, you can't appear live. See the apple. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I, tell, I, I, I always, I always tell apples. people, look, what is going to be is going to be. You don't mm. be me no work hard, but what's going to be? <laughs> <laughs> what's going to be is going to be right. Uh, it's crazy how I was. FX actually cancelled on us. Um, had an emergency, was stuck in traffic, so I had to make a turn uh, uh, back. But FX is all good. Uh, Shouts to FX for. Uh, letting us know in time because if he let us um, know very late then we couldn't have made it here so uh, there is that um i saw a i saw a nice uh comment someone said you know 
off the back of international break, it's always great to go into the weekend. Someone replied under that and said, you know, man, wait there for you this weekend. Now, from today, we're going to tell you. Anything later <laughs> than 12 p.m. on Thursday, which is when we record, that means oh, you are number three option. Forget basically. it. Forget it. And I totally relate with that, right? Um, so, I remember Twitter something this morning. said, if you don't say your secret day in my hand, send me food. I don't feel they carry empty belly. They carry your secret they up carry my hand. They carry your secret. It's too heavy. <laughs> I, thought it was, I, thought it was, I thought it was funny. Shouts to say, man. By the way. Um, uh, thought, how, how do you think of how, something how, like that? How, how, what, <laughs> what, 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 is, what kind of shit? Come on. I would say, before, before you tell people your secret now, Check it, you guys uh, save small body where you go take, take care swear, of you know, I swear. Oh, that yeah, That's crazy. Oh, that's that's last week, we thought you said this cup did the wrong position. Today, you turn and back again. Well... Um, just checking, just checking, just making sure everybody is, uh, is, no, is all I good. I, I don't have another pod. But it's only this one. <laughs> in the past week, right, uh, something caught my interest and I pretty much wanted to um, speak about it here as well. And this actually gave me a good laugh more than anything, mm. right? The original tweet was, so many people think that football players are crazy popular. It's so weird. Like, how can you say a football player is more popular than Beyonce? <laughs> and I'm sure you've seen it online somewhere, Twitter, Instagram, whatever it is. The only time we've done something like this on the pod is when we uh, spoke about Le- LeBron James yeah, and Lionel Messi, Messi. You know who was more influential, who was more popular. I find that it's a great time to speak about the game. And as, uh, to be honest, I've seen some of the most funny comments off the back of that tweet. Someone said, "You know, the only thing Beyonce has over Zidane is is her hair." But I don't know <laughs> what, what, what your take on that is. Who's more popular, the football player at the level of Cristiano or Beyonce? Because yeah, are... that I was as I was going to say, if you go with Zidane, you can say Beyonce is more popular because Zidane is not the you know this guy didn't come around during the social media age. So I would I would I would I would say it like this: like in general, footballers are more popular. Okay, I was on Twitter I, I, under that same um, tweet and I was reading through, through the thread, and a girl was like, um, um, "How can someone say Beyonce is?" Um, not as popular as you know f- footballers. S- sorry, how can someone say Beyonce is more popular than footballers and all of that? And she was like, then she, she mentioned this um, Arsenal player. She mentioned Gabriel Jesus, and I was like, um, um, someone like Gabriel Jesus now. Can you be comparing Gabriel Jesus with you know Beyonce? Then somebody said, the fact that you mentioned Gabriel Jesus sh- sh- tells you that <laughs> you <laughs> Beyonce footballers are popular because Gabriel Jesus is not among top hundred fo- yeah, most popular yeah, footballers. Yeah, Gabriel Jesus yeah, is not among them. Yeah, but you if, mentioned Gabriel Jesus. See, the thing is, I think it's even basic. If you go and mention Ronaldo, you have smashed the bar because this guy has three, <laughs> two, Ronaldo three percent of the world population following him on Instagram. Oh, Beyonce has a nice oh, follower on Instagram. Ronaldo well. is we know, far. but that's the most followed human being on Instagram. Right, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. What what I, what I would say is that at least one in ten persons in the world on Instagram follow Ronaldo. So I don't. That so says, I, I don't even. That I don't, says a lot. What I what I do it's is. Not yeah, he's yeah. never about following. Like he's popular without the social media. You understand? Media. So, so and, and, and another thing. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. Another thing is when you mentioned Jesus, for example, something something came in my mind. You see, it's almost like coming to Africa. You know, you have a lot of people. Mm. Nigeria is two hundred and something million people. You go to South America, a lot of people, and these footballers are very popular among this large. You yeah. know, population of people. Yeah. I don't think I, I I don't think you can say the same for people like Beyonce. I think if you go outside the pop culture of you know places like you know Europe, let me, use, let, let, let me use my grandma for example. My grandma, shout out to her, I love her so much. She cannot speak English, but she knows who Rashid Yekin is. Yeah. Just tell Beyonce, tell say the name Beyonce to her. She will definitely do not. She doesn't know who. <laughs> which is who which, is, which, which, which is which is. So that tells you how popular these guys are. Shout out to your grandma. Which is something I wanted to say that for me, the only way to really find out, especially in Africa, or anywhere of the, anywhere in the world, is to take it away from social media. Because yeah. social media is, is is a different universe on its own, and in that universe, I think that it is quite easy. Cristiano wins. Yeah. Easy, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They start back it up, right? What I say is take it to the streets. There's a picture one guy quoted with some kids wearing an Aussie jersey. Yeah, you know, yeah, I see, I see. kids like that. You know, they don't they don't know who Beyonce is. They that's, don't they don't know who that's they don't know who Jay Z is. That's Ozzy. Ozzy is not even amongst you know, the top. But if you say if you say dollars. if you say Lionel you know, Messi, ha. Ronaldo, <laughs> come on. I'm not sure there's any nook and cranny in this country you go to that whether you go to you know the Erin Jesha somewhere in Deep Ife. Or you go to exactly, you know, in Patak in Ikoi Pene in Uyo, you know, quite bomb. 
everybody knows who Cristiano yeah, Ronaldo and, and, is. And, 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 I don't think anybody sets up viewing centers across the country to watch music videos. And I also think like, yeah, God bless you. And I also, you. Yeah, what I was going to say was that I think as far as impacting culture, they both have done, would have done, you know, a significant, you know, level of that. But I feel like footballers would do that more in the sense that even if you know Sabi play ball, there's just something about the fact that anybody can run around and kick a ball. And yeah. I think that's very rampant among kids. Yeah. As a singer, you know, you can count <laughs> on one hand where you are growing up. I remember we can say, yeah, I shall be singing, so I want yeah, to be a singer. Exactly. <laughs> so there's more, these footballers are kind of influencing young people, kids much more, I think, because it's just what it is. You know, kids will run around and play football and then compare themselves to the known yeah. stars and all that. So I yeah. think, yeah, these people make more. Yeah, it's, it's, it's incredible. So, um, I mean, I thought it was nice for, it was nice for, um, for social communications and, and, and bands and all that stuff. So, yeah. um, look, I wanted to wrap up uh, what was uh, a nice uh, week with something I saw that, you know, made a lot of sense to me. And, you know, um, well, I don't know if you want to throw it on the screen now because I sent it to you earlier. It's about, Amer so this so this American guy who does a couple things on uh, on YouTube and creates content was speaking about uh, football and said, look, you know, we should make an iteration to football's uh, laws and all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is where I take off the the the, the blue so so sunglasses. And he was speaking about penalties and how football needs to make an iteration to you know penalties. And I wanted to ask you guys. What you think? I think there are a couple of things in the game that you know needs a bit of iteration, some changes, and all that stuff. You know, one of which is the penalties, the 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 player who takes the penalty, having struck the penalty, should not be able in open play or in yeah, whatever penalty it is, you get should not be game. able to strike the ball again. Once mm -hmm. you strike it once and he doesn't, goalkeeper saves it or you miss, that should be it. Mm -hmm. You should never be able to go back and you know strike it again. I think it's a bit of an unfair advantage to the goalkeeper because. I mean, he's done the toughest job, which is catch the first penalty. Mm -hmm. But this guy um, spoke about the penalties and said, you know, can we, can we watch it now? Sure. Yeah, let's go. The 2018 World Cup qualifier between Egypt and Congo, Egypt needed a win to move on, and with the game tied in stoppage, Congo was called for a penalty. But before Mo Salah could attempt the winning kick, Egyptian fans were celebrating as if they had already won because, of course, goals from penalty shots are pretty much a certainty. In the last five seasons of the Big Five Leagues, penalties have hit the back of the net 78% of the time. Now, in other sports, penalties are misdemeanors. But in football, they're death sentences. The Premier League averages only 2.74 total goals scored per game, a total so low that more than 50% of penalties have changed the outcome of the match. I have a few ideas to fix this. 12 yards out is too close. Move the ball back to the edge of the penalty area to a distance of 18 yards. Another option is to take the penalty from the spot of the foul, just as you would a free kick, but without any defenders. If the angle is too tight, the shooter can move the ball, but no closer to the goal, similar to penalties in golf. But the most logical idea is a concept similar to hockey penalties. There, shooters skate the puck towards the net instead of shooting from a stagnant position. The MLS actually tried this run-up in the 90s, and the goal conversion rate was a more fair 45%. I'm Fred Michael Smith, and that's my take. First of all, we need to ban Americans from watching football. Crazy thing. Because I, I think that, you know, it is a, you know, these people have the most ridiculous ideas. You know, and someone... In, in, no, hold on a sec. In the comments, right, I found some very interesting things. I think, for one, that the feints you make before a penalty should be taken out of the penalty. You can only make one run-up, you can't stop, and all that kind of stuff. Mm. That should be taken out of the penalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've mentioned one already. I think that when you strike a penalty in open play, you should not have a chance to strike it again. Right, but to say that, for example, he said, Wait, well, your teammates can strike it. No, 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 nobody can strike it again. Once you strike, that's the end of it. It's a dead ball because the penalty is a dead ball, right? Yes. So, when did the ball become open? When the open play, no, that's the, because it's in open play, it's like when you kick it, it's like when you take a free kick, right? If you take a free kick in open play, whether it comes off the wall or the goalkeeper saves or it comes mm. off the crossbar, or whatever, or the goal post, it is open play, it's play on. Because yeah. it's open play. The, the, the logic behind being able to hit the penalty again, even if the goalkeeper says it, I think makes sense to me because it is open play. Now, mm. I understand that it feels like it's double jeopardy because the goalkeeper says and then you strike it again and you score. But if you take that out, then it is more or less a penalty shootout. Even if the penalty was won during the 90 minutes of the no, game. No, a, a penalty is a penalty. It doesn't change... The dynamics of a penalty doesn't change 
whether it's in shootout or it's in no, but it does. No, no, it does. no, it, it, no, it actually does. No. It actually does. Hold on because a sec. A penalty is a penalty. Yes. It's shot from 12 yards. It's a dead ball situation. It's a dead ball situation. Just like a free kick. That, that's good. A no, penalty, no, no, no. A penalty a during the game. Hold on a sec. It's different from a penalty no. during the shootout. Hold on a sec. That's, because that's, a shootout that's, happens after a game is drawn. Hold on. That's the psychological part of it. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the technical part of the penalty. Okay. The technical part of the penalty doesn't change whether it's in oh, it's in 90 minutes or it's in, it's in a penalty shootout. Mm-hmm. But the so, rules change. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. The rules don't change. The, rules the goalkeeper change. cannot come off his line. Mm-hmm. Must be on his line when you should strike the ball. Mm-hmm. What other rules change? The rules, the, of, rule, the rules, the rule of regarding the players, the the way the players play the penalties. Co- mean, yeah, meaning, meaning yeah. you have to change another player has to play the second penalty. That's psychological, but the rules don't change. No, 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 no. no the, rule, rule. the rule. First of all, the rule. rule no, it is. Sh- look, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. <laughs> the rules don't change in penalties. What changes is the format, it's the circumstance around when the penalty is being played. Hold on a sec. If a penalty is given, it's going to let's establish a few things. It's going to be shot from 12 yards. Yes. Go Those are the basics. Hold on a sec. Those are the basic and the most fundamental things. Yes. So whether he walks away and another guy comes, it's not it doesn't concern the penalty itself. Those are circumstantial changes mm-hmm. because it's now a penalty shootout. But as far as the player who will strike the ball goes, yes. the rules don't change. So for me, <clears throat> make sure. No, no, no. Make hey, sure. Wait, wait. I want me to make me, your point. For me, make sure you can't faint in the run-up. That I agree. One to of the things degree. I agree. I think this should be taken out of the game. Why can't you faint, though? Hold but... on a sec. <laughs> if you finish that point, finish that point. Finish that point. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. You can't faint. You can't also rebound the ball because the, the goalkeeper has made a save already, right? Mm. What you cannot also do for me, and I thought it was very important. You just mentioned the rule as well. What's that? Rebounding the ball. When the penalty is given during the game, you can the player if the player if the keeper saves um, the penalty, the but, player can also is that, can, is that, rebound, is that, is that can, can that, try and shoot a game. No, no, is it, in a penalty shootout, after on, a you game has ended 0 0 1 1 2 2 or whatever, the player cannot rebound the ball. He can't, he can't play the game. What's the point you're making? Because you the rules the, the, after the rule a game has changed. ended. What I've told is different no, from listen, regarding penalty, no, 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 it's different from when no, the game sorry, is on. Listen, what I've told you is clear. Open play. I'm telling you that I don't think it should be there. It's a rule noun that should not exist. Uh, that's what you're saying. Right? But me- so it doesn't change the fact that the basic rules of the penalties are the same in Can I shootout ask a or in open play. Can I ask a question? Let's start from... So first of all, during open play, if I'm a striker and I'm approaching the goalkeeper mm. and I want to score, I can faint, Abby. Because it's open play. I can, yeah. I can shallow the goalkeeper. Yeah. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to faint that. anywhere. Wait now. But co- it's almost like saying I can't do leg over if I want to dribble a player. No, listen, I'm, I'm no, during, during open play, if I'm a striker the and I'm approaching, like waiting, like waiting, like like waiting no, Delima no, do no. Ghanaian go. He can, he can oh, do whatever skill he wants. He can fetch, he can do whatever. If I can do that in open play, why? I want to know why. In a dead ball situation, you should move. But even for a free kick, Should even we, for a let, free, let, let in a free kick situation, you can have three players, one run across, one run and draw the you kick. You can have someone so lying down why? behind let's the wall. Establish, let's establish... That as well. Let's establish what faint is. Okay. Yeah, right? Once the run-up starts, this is me establishing what faint means for me. Mm. Once the run-up starts, you can't make a stop and distract the ball. I get what you're saying. I understand no, that. I'm no, saying, for, no, why for, can't no, I Hold faint? on a sec, hold on a sec. For avoidance of doubt. I think that once the run-up starts... You don't faint until you get to the ball. You know, because in the past, what we saw is players start the run-up and stop the run-up and yes. in a millisecond, restart the run-up. Ronaldo, pre-Real Madrid. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. You, 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 get, you get your due. I think that it is unnecessary pressure on the goalkeeper. Okay. Right? And it's an unfair advantage because you are walking towards the ball strike and you should not be able to make a stop and start again. Because like I said... Penalties must be regulated across open play and shootouts. Okay, but you also know that the goalkeeper can also, also dance. Do you know that got on the line? Hold on, hold on. Do you know that? <laughs> the go- if the goalkeeper... No. <laughs> 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 you have to cast it out. Hold on, hold on. You have to cast it out. Listen, listen now. Can you listen? That rule I'm taking care of. The goalkeeper cannot come off their line. But they can dance. You can They can intimidate the player. Listen. You can walk zigzag. But you cannot stop until you make the shootout. Yes. Nobody cares if you walk from the halfway line and as you're coming, 
you take your 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 jewelry off or you adjust your hair. Nobody cares. You don't wear jewelry. Right? Whatever you do, don't stop until you strike the ball. It's the same thing for the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper, whatever you do, if you want to move from the center of the pitch to the end, your leg must be on the line when the ball is being struck. So that equalizes those two things. So that's the thing. What you have, what you have done is you're explaining what you think should happen. What yeah. me I'm saying is, okay, the player that wants to take the kick cannot faint. That's what you're saying. You, 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 when you, once you start the run up, they you should, have to go all the way to take the ball. Now, what robots. me I'm saying is that this football, Shebina I enjoy one enjoy them. So I'm asking, yeah. why shouldn't a player that wants to take a penalty kick why shouldn't the player be able to fit? You know, because um, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you know, because in open play. Your advantage to him. But no, the conversation is around you want to encourage attack, you want to encourage seeing more goals because okay. ultimately it is entertainment and, first. And you're already so taking away I've the beauty. Said, you're taking I've away the beauty from the game. You you're you're taking away the beauty from the game. I've, 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 I've always said. Wait till I want to go nine game and match. I've, I've, I've always said defense. I've always said that no 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 you be, you be. let me let, let, let me make hold this on. one clear let me make this one clear you when you speak see, body on, on, also, hold on when, on this table eh, when you speak about enjoyment eh, you have a, you have a problem with me already you're in collision course already <laughs> competitive football eh, I know you love is about enjoyment. winning we understand that it's not one. about enjoyment uh, it's about we understand enjoyment. That you enjoy the win we understand that one. You enjoy the process as well. Uh, I celebrate you. We understand that one. Did you guys enjoy when you both lost? Uh, you're a United fan. When you lost the uh, the the Champions League, you enjoyed how you played, Abby. When you we, we didn't play well. No, hold on, we hold on, play, hold on. We didn't play well. That is we, a different. You enjoyed. You enjoyed That's a different ball game. My own is this. That's My own is this. Game. As far as I'm concerned, right? As far as I'm concerned, and I dare say, right? I dare say that. 70 60 70 percent of the time the fact that the player makes a feint or stops during a run-up before going again doesn't have an influence on the direction the goalkeeper is going to go 60 70 percent of the time because I most, dare of the, say. most of the time because the most time made, professional made goalkeepers research before the penalty kicks yeah, before exactly. the game yeah, yeah. they've done their homework Bro. they try and decide this player goes here that player goes there Spot on. even if they don't do so more often than not, more than 50% of the time, during a penalty kick, the goalkeeper picks a position and goes there, irrespective. And the point, the point, I, was, okay, the point I was trying to make to you as well is that the rules regarding penalties during a penalty shootout when a game has ended 1-1 one, one or 0-0, zero, zero, let's say in the cup final, is different from the rules of a penalty. Hey, he, knows that, that he is saying that the thing is not supposed to exist. He is no, saying that that rule what rules not exist. What rules differ? What rules differ? Aside, aside the fact they can rebound the ball, they differ. Uh, that's the rule. Like, no, 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 hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. Differ. Hold different on. players, different players. If if player A misses his penalty, he can't play the next penalty. Player B has to has to take it. But during the game, player A can take as many penalties as he wants. We've seen a game where Ronaldo have missed. Are you? Yeah. He score hat tricks. Have you? Do you, do, do you understand? Do you, no, Jesus Christ. Do you understand what technical details mean? I do, I do. When a player. When a penalty is given, irrespective of the player, the rule, the only rule that changes in penalties, shootouts, and open play is that the ball can be rebounded. I don't care about the players. The penalty situation in itself, if you define a penalty, yeah. irrespective of the player, the rules change only once in open play and in shootouts, which is that you can rebound the ball. Mm. The rest stay the same. And I'm telling you, that for a dead ball in open play should be the same thing in shootouts. Because if a player in open play has a chance to rebound the ball, then you are waste, you're wasting the goalkeeper's effort all through the week. You just, you just mentioned goalkeepers pick a spot, research, done all the work yeah. to catch that penalty. Mm. They've caught that penalty and you have thrown out of the window. Yeah, but allow, hold on a sec. By allowing the player rebound the, the ball. ball, but it's open play. That that's what happens. And it's, 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 it's a it's a technique. It's a term. It's a term that is useless. Okay, so but so you see. But, but you so be, you, you, see, be, you be you be. No, he's saying they shouldn't be once able to rebound. You, God once bless you, you miss the God ball, bless you. Yeah, yeah. So what? Hey, you not, Wale, God bless you. <laughs> so you be see what Wale is saying. You be you are giving an American. No, no, no. See what Wale is saying. See what Wale is saying. Wait, wait, wait. See what Wale is saying. I am listening. Open play. Open play. You get a penalty. You take the penalty, the goalkeeper parries. 
and parries into his box, what should happen? That's the end of the game. You stop. You stop. You restart. Nah, you restart. You restart the game. Restart goal you, kick. Yes, you restart goal kick. Yes. That means you have. But that's not. But that's not. But that's not. You are. You are, you are you. going to turn football to an American sport. Listen. Because, you'll be too much because what then happens is that the, the players stay. The players stay on the edge of their box. Which also what you're saying is that. When the penalty is going to happen, there's no need for players yeah, to, to stay, stay on the edge of that box. Listen, Everybody have to go listen, because they're they not listen. doing anything there anyway. So, so if you yeah, watch, mm-hmm. if you watch the NBA, right, the moment you have a free throw mm-hmm. and you miss a free throw, mm-hmm. whether it rebounds into your hand, mm-hmm. you have thrown the first one. No, 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 no. Do you also right? know that when you when you take your second free throw, it's play on. And I want to ask. Exactly. Do you have two penalties in football? That is why. That is why no, basketball is not the beautiful game. And that's why football is. That's not even the points. That's not even the points. My I own think, point is I this. Think, I My think, point I is think this. it's a ridiculous rule. Yeah. My own point is this. Go players rebound a penalty in open play. But that's not even that's not even the cross of it. But I think we spend too much time on penalties that we have to move on already, right? My own point is this: if there are too many rules, too many rules, and too many editing, you become the games become robotic. Exactly. No, like the first one becomes robotic. robotic. Like, every time, that's 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 right. Like, like, like the first one they say when anybody stuff, I was like, if like if you guys change these rules, you you guys are automatically spoiling the fun of the game. Yeah, taking the fun out of the game because how many rules has been changed? I can't count how many rules have been changed from like since World Cup up to mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. VAR, there is the keeper staying on the line, the line. and which which other one again? Uh, okay, this one is just brought now. If we have to acknowledge this one, it will definitely kill it. People, people, well, actually, actually, you know, you know how England, uh, England citizens are, they are fine fans are. They will, no, but, but, <laughs> they will but, bombard but, but the game. I tell, you, I tell, I tell you something. What I always say about you know, the general thing is that people are opposed to changing the game. And it's a natural, it's new human nature. You resist everything that looks like something you don't know until you become used to it, right? As technology improves, as life improves, as our quality of life becomes better off the inventions of people, it is only necessary that you keep moving with the times. The changes that have happened in the game are all necessary for the game to evolve. You can't sit down here and tell me that there's one change in football now that's implemented that doesn't have a real root cause and it's not has, hasn't been justified. Vieira, for example, has no problem. It's a fantastic addition to the game. But every one of you said, oh, Vieira should not be in the game. But I, guess what? No, but guess what? They should, should not be in the game. No. They should like no. cut the power VAR over the VAR game. is not the problem. You the be, problem should I, is you the be, implementation. You be, should I give you a pointless rule in football? What's that? You've noticed when when the game starts, only one player stays on the center line to pass the ball. Yeah, and they now changed it to uh, yeah. before it was two two players yeah, on the center yeah, yeah. line. You know the normal That's pass very one pass ridiculous. two. What, 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 Useless. What, what, what does that rule have to? <laughs> what does why, that rule have to do? Hold on. Oh, hold on. Hold oh, on. because there are many. There are more. You know, um, there are Your shape is intact. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Your ship is not intact but, because there are times where we've seen midfielders, central midfielders, go to the center line and, and pass the ball hold on, from hold center on, line. On. So who who replaces him in his in his no, in his position? No, but wait, but but I thought this was a team to like your own personal team. We don't want to decide. No, 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 no. I, there, there's a rule now. No, only one player. There's, no, there's, a rule there's, a, there's a rule like that. Why no, do yes? you think? Why do you think two players used to? Let's let's start. Let's start with the rules cause. Why do you think two players used to kick past the ball? I don't know. Probably that's how it has always has so always which, been. No, we decide we have to start from there. The original rule states that you have to the, the ball has to cross the line somewhat, mm-hmm. right? So that the ball has crossed the two parts of the pitch. It has gone into your half, and it's gone into the opposition's half when the ball is being passed. That's why two people stood at the line. So the ball is passed not straight line. It's passed in a way that if you zoom into the line, the ball crosses diagonally, right? That's why you had two players pass the ball initially, right? Over time, you realize that as far as advantage goes, you are creating an unnecessary advantage for or against. If the ball crosses the line and this other guy is already has a head start to go into the opposition's half, you know what? It's unnecessary. So how about we pass the ball back into your half where your players are in? That way, you don't have unnecessary advantage, numerical advantage on the other side because... I no, am on your line, but, no. and I can run into your half immediately. I get wow. what you're saying, but I don't agree. No, 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 but no, but no, no. Go check it out. That's how. That's why no, no, that no. rule was I get was what there. you're saying, but I don't agree. I think it's 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 it's, it's not. It's still not necessary. It's still because not necessary if 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 you honest. if you know the rule, if I'm going to pass, then the the responsibility on this team 
to know how because we are the one passing the ball. We are going to protect ourselves. So this is the point of passing that we pick. That responsibility lies with us. Matter of fact, I think it's actually I think it's actually one of the one of the best iterations that I've gone unnoticed. As far as as opposed to being ridiculous, which goes back to my point about people resisting resisting change without even understanding why it's been changed. What is the point of having two people pass the ball? I thought that was what you wanted to say. No, actually. no, 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 exactly. No, no, no. I that was that was being too basic. I thought you know what everybody understands that. What's the point of having two people pass the ball? I thought that was where you were going in the sense that no, I, no, I had to the, explain from the, the first original point, the original point. Two people passing the ball, I think. It, it, it doesn't change anything. You're passing one, one ball. One person being dead also doesn't change anything. So the two rules are useless. No, 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 no. Well, Hold on, hold on, hold on. So who passes the ball? It's throw the ball up. No, it doesn't. I mean, hold on a second. Now, so who passes the ball? Referee? No, uh, the referee, obviously, the referee this, passes the ball. No, what I'm trying to say is that <laughs> them changing the rule from two players to one player is didn't Yeah, it's, 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 of no, it's of no impact. How you, because how you the know? fact that a lot of people have not noticed it shows that I mean it was it was an insignificant rule. But but then, but then you had you didn't you didn't you didn't you didn't you didn't, you didn't, you didn't notice it. So let's not make a meal out of that. But how you no, know? I think that was why I brought but, it but, up. But, but it helps. How you know? How you know? It's a good rule. I noticed it. Like like if you check the Premier League, check Premier League. If you check, there's there's some fastest good that happened within one minute. So so at that point in particular time, they would have worked it on training. So it's everything. I think so. That one person passing passing more allows for more attacking. I mean. That was exactly. I think that's I mean, a valid I mean, point you know, because, you know, you know, because you know, honestly, because it's happened more in this season. I I have said like three three defense or four defense like that. No, what even happened? It allows for more for, for for more chances to score, to score. From, from the first. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think it can, it can be four against. You know, you can allow. You can you can say it doesn't. It doesn't allow. You know, because if two people pass the ball, when they pass the ball to you. And you pass it back to us, start running towards the other guy's hand. You, be, you, you know? agree with me no, that but, football is about maximizing your advantage to win. No, you, you are so. You know, you have whatever, whatever you know, you know. You, I'm, I'm trying to tell you about talk about the body fence and everything, run up to the penalties. Whatever you can do to make sure that you your team scores, that's the most important thing. How you do it so far is within the rules of the game. The stated rules by IFAB. I thought about the ones that said the rules for No, football. I think it's in a, I think it's in a la matter. So far, so far, you are the, is within the, the stated rules. You are okay. Because, I mean, if there are too many stops and starts. Stan Sports, my man. <laughs> Stan, uh, talk to me. Um, these chaps here are resistant to change. I hope that, uh, you know... We are not resistant to change. We are just... There's a reason I have my one. Please, thank you very much. Uh, Stan, talk to us about this rule change. Um, no, it was, it's not a rule change. Someone, someone put it up. I thought it was a nice conversation to have. You can't hear Stan. Stan, we can't hear you. Just hold on for a sec um, while we try to sort you out. When we saw Stan out, um, we'll, we'll get back to it, right? Um, but let's let's speak about let's speak about uh, this, you know. Another narrative I find quite ridiculous, and it's simple. You know, people say the, the most dangerous corner in football is two nil. You know, why do why do people why? say that? You know, I think the most dangerous corner in football is one nil. You no, know, like, what's the what's the idea behind most dangerous corner is two nil? No, no, why? you hear you hear say all the time. You know, um, pundits say all the time, and fans have of course lapped it up. They say, oh, you know, it's, it's even leading two nil. The most dangerous corner. Exactly. Now that's why I'm asking. If you if you if you if you hear it and you, and you believe it, why why is it the most dangerous? It's crazy. Like one new seems like the most dangerous. One new because even the most dangerous it, scoreline is two new if you are useless manager. <laughs> <laughs> Jose Mourinho has won his two exactly. Champions leagues with what no, two new. No, no. I think even more even more said like even more said it's two new. It's two new more more dangerous scoreline now than one new. It can't be. It's not. No, no, it's not. So like I don't understand. Like you have a, you have a, you have scored a goal an advantage. You don't have then you double it. You don't have a cushion again. In case you slaps in concentration, it's only, yeah. it's only a dangerous corner and if you are AVB. You know, no, I'm asking that maybe we don't understand what this will mean. Exactly. You know, like I can't get the exactly. logic. Right. So let's speak about um is can we hear Stan? Yes, Stan, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, uh loud and clear. Um Stan, what do you think about this? Um <laughs> We're just we did, how we you did, did, we did, we did, we did, we did, we're just trying to figure we out how we did, we um, did. we can solve this penalty thing problem because I watched the video from the from the American guy and I thought he said it should be penalty should be given from where they're taken and I'm like you should give it like free kicks I'm like do you realize that some penalties happen just in front of the goalkeeper so you want the player to kick it just into the goal straight up 
So, yeah, what do you think? <laughs> After two weeks of no club football, you want to talk about this? Come on, man. Like, I think uh, less rules, the better, to be honest. You know, look how much we're struggling with the uh, VAR. And it's been on for, what, two, three years now? Um, so I think uh, don't fix what's not broken. You know, football's doing fine. Uh, I think it's nitpicking something that's not really a problem at all. Um, I think it makes sense that, as Alakule said, like any other set piece, uh, play should be able to resume right after the penalty is taken. So I don't really see the issue with it, you know, to be honest. And come on, we got we got club football to talk about. We got uh, the North London Derby, you know. There's more important issues at stake here. Yeah, we would. We would for sure. I just think that it's ridiculous that, you know, how many seconds does it take? It's the same thing when people brought about VR. People said, you know, VR will slow the game down. And we moved on like nothing happened. So it's more fear of the unknown than anything. People talk about, oh... Play should restart. Yes, goalkeeper saves the ball. Play restarts with a goal kick. It's simple. It happens all the time. So I mean, yeah, it, but look, look, uh, look how VAR has taken something out of the game that we love so much. You know, you, so right now you don't know if you if you can celebrate if your favorite team scores. You know, there's that is this something. Feeling that is in something. the back of your mind. No, but if you, you score, if you score an illegal emotion. goal, then you should hold on for confirmation. Yeah, you can't no, score an illegal goal. Easy. That's what he's you saying. Score. It has taken that out of it. What, that no. energy of. Score okay. Can so I remember when, negative can I remember energy. When, can I remember when we played? I think it was what it was what when Brazil played. What year was that? When we had the golden goal. Yeah. So it's like, for example, where you had, had, yeah, had the Olympics golden final. goal. Imagine yeah. scoring the goal that's supposed to be the golden goal. <laughs> imagine I have gone absolute crazy. <laughs> imagine imagine Nigeria scoring an illegal goal and going crazy, and the crowd is running up and down. No, but and the referee is forced to give a goal that is illegal. Uh, uh-uh, no, 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 no. When you say an illegal goal, that's that's wanting to no. be that's no, wanting to no. be a politician. No, 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 no. But but we actually brought in to you stop be. illegal goals from you be happening. A, you be a, as it is right now. What he as said it. that you, you, you don't understand. What Stan said was that whether we like it or not, VR might have done something good for the game. But VR has taken this part out of the game. And yes. you can't argue that. Yes, you get Because you, you really, get, it has taken that it, part it was, out. It was a bad habit that we got used to. You should confirm. <laughs> you should <laughs> confirm. No, Mark, no but it's true. You should confirm. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you buy something, so make guys conf- confess, confess, confirm whether that goes yes, quite celebrated. Just yes. look at this man. Because because if it happens to you, you won't be happy. Look at this man. Have right? you have you played a I game? Mean, yeah, have no, no. If it happens to you, you won't be happy. No, no, no. If you play, if you, if you, no, you won't no. be. No, 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 no. But that's the game. Hold on a second. Let's let's, let's talk about non London derby, right? In a high stake game, Arsenal Tottenham. Arsenal fantastic form at the moment. Tottenham fantastic form at the moment. Scoring, Son is scoring goals, right? And Son scores a goal and starts running. Fantastic goal. We don't have a chance to look at it. Arsenal feel that goal is an offside. But because it's celebrated, the crowd has celebrated, we must give the goal. And that makes Arsenal lose the title by one point on the final day. Come, what are we talking about here? But first of all, this, this thing that you're saying now, this thing that you're saying now has become this clear because VAR has happened. Yeah. Before VAR, wait, make I finish. Before VAR, we're, we're all enjoying the game. The only goals we were able to explicitly say this was an illegal goal was the one that was clear enough for ordinary eye to see. Like the goal, guess what? The goal Lampard scored Germany against Germany. Germany. That goal scored. during the game, that was there the was no way. Jonathan, that was the goal that brought goal line technology. That was the goal. Jonathan, Before so then, we the, didn't really care. The point I'm making is you are, you are able to say illegal goal now because the VAR has happened. Before and, the VAR, and there's we were just thing, enjoying there, there, the game. There, there, there's another point. Why there's do you use, why do, why do you, why do you use Apple Max? Because it gives me the right. best, best so, enjoyment so, so, what you're basically doing is that as technology improves, you're improving your quality of life. So, yeah. should the game stay stagnant and technology is improving, you be, because the game be right has now, to get in a form. Right now, there's, there's, a, there's a problem right now, an issue of, you know, the number of times that, that the ball is in play in the 90 minutes. Average time, on, the ball stays in play 60 minutes. 54. It's less than 60. 54. So, each year it reduces... Me, yeah, I don't care. Rules. See, my own is. So I don't you care about this all one. This. You already, you've already, you've already made, you, made no, the goal. No, no, you, you know, you, you know, you, you. I don't know where you and everyone had an agreement that football should be played for ninety minutes. The re- <laughs> football should be played for ninety minutes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's called regulation time, right? It means that when we start this game at four o'clock, we will end it at six o'clock. You know, but if heaven comes down, the game will end at six o'clock, right? So, he didn't say. The ball when they started the, f- the football game, they didn't yeah. say the ball was played a minimum of, of 60 minutes. minutes. 
Any that's he won't use. But so you are watching, you are watching this, 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 so the, this, 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 this idealistic. For, this, you are watching the game for the for the board for the board to be in place. Listen, listen. Not so for, I'm watching not the for game. No, man, no, 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 no. Um, McClattenburg, you know, going to no, 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 no. I'm Nobody, watching the no, game no, for watching the game. You're watching the game. You're catching the fans' reaction. You're catching the referee yeah, being right, silly. Rufai, you're catching Jose Mourinho. You are wrong there. No, 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 no. I don't watch. See, understand, understand something. It's the idealistic. I don't have a problem with the VAR. I was one of the people. I was one of the people. That never had the problem with VR when you know they were going to introduce it. I, I just brought up what this point of said, time or brought up this point of time. Uh, get, that one too, was trying to say that you one know, too. Stop that one too. I don't care about it. Come you on, say the I game is only continue. the ball is only in play I for can, four minutes. Stan, do not that. care. Stan, if you if you if you um have a game that plays for ninety minutes, right? And the so called people that want the game to be played more, they want to see the ball in motion more, and you tell them. Let's stop the clock for every time the ball goes out. They say, you know, why is that? No, I don't mind that, to be honest. I think you might be a good rule because look at uh, the VAR. Oh, now you like change. We said as much as it contributes is as much as it takes from the game because, look, the games are not longer now. We see stoppage time of minimum four or five minutes, uh, also influenced because of the five subs. Um, you know, also... The referees are becoming lazy, you know, and that's the downside of technology because why, why are the side referees, the linesmen, why are they still in the game? I don't understand because we see obvious offsides, not, not, not shown. They're waiting for the technology to confirm it. And then, you know, we're, we're losing precious time of the game. You know what I mean? It's like technology is good, but it's also making people in jobs lazy or afraid to make a decision because they know that you know they're gonna look silly if something happens but at the end of the day it's like there's two meter offside just raise your flag and do your job you know so that's the part where i don't like the over reliance on var and at the end of the day listen listen we're three years into var have we solved the issues no every weekend we're talking about refereeing decisions we're talking about subjective you know measures taken Football is a subjective sport and it has a referee on the field and people like you guys that have played the game know whatever happens on the field, that's it. You know, Argentinians in 1986, do you think they care that they won the, the World Cup with a handball? With no, the, with the hand of oh, oh, they, no they, don't, they don't care, but England, England care. No, England I, care, but so be it, you know? What, no, 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 what, no, 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 that's, that's no. That's an unfair... No, but what happens is if you stay in the game long enough, you're going to have those ones that will favor you. That's just what it is. So, exactly. so, so, France how about, so, so went how about, to the World Cup because Thierry Henry scored a goal with his hand. So how about we eliminate that problem for puts? I don't want to wait long enough for that to happen to me. Hey, but that's right? the thing now. Let it happen to anybody. You've Let's, brought the technology, but it has still not eliminated it. Hold on. Hold on. You're not going to score a handball now, right? And get away with it. Never. Right? Never. What we are seeing, get, what, what we are seeing is interpretation of the referee. Oh, should this have been a penalty or not? I don't think at the moment we're having a problem with offside. Matter of fact, no, we're, we're, there's problem with offside. No, no. There is. What, 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 what was there no time you can say the offside for, for Carabao. No, that's, that's what, that's what I'm problem. saying. Hold on, that's why you have to wait till I finish, right? <laughs> what we're seeing now is if we're going to run the risk of giving a goal that shouldn't be given, we rather not give that goal because, like in 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 jurisprudence, you say. It is better to okay, have. To make hold on, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. In Jewish you have say better to have to let a guilty man walk free than to convict an innocent man. That is the general principle of Jewish I don't know where you hear us, no. but I know I agree. Hold on, <laughs> lawyers in the house. No, lawyers in the house. Please let us know. That's, I know I agree. That's the, I that's the, found, no. hold on. That's the foundation of of. The legal practice, the right? The should be jailed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no, no, no. Honestly, check, check, check it out. If is, I, I rather, I rather a guilty guy walks free than convict an innocent man. That's why you must prove your reasonable this doubt. This is a sport. It's never gonna be hundred percent fair. You know. No, no but as as life goes exactly. on, let's try to make it fair it, because people's it, emotion and people's lives are involved. Nah. You get. I don't think that. I don't yes, think so that because of the sport. Not have to think twice. About, don't mind you be. You don't know, mind you be. Even own. even in even in situations where it is not sports in life, it's never. It, that's how it is. They go it's, for you. It's never go, black go and for white. You. It's never. You know, they sometimes it happens. Else. Sometimes it doesn't happen for you. And we have. You know. And you get this one now is because we have associations. 
and bodies that you can attack. When things don't go for and you, and we have social media, we have social you, media. You go face God, God I beg. That's all you can do. And you can't even see the God, so you don't be fight out. I think I so, I think that the, the, now God the, the, I beg. The, fair, go ahead. The, the fairer we make the game, the better for everybody. The the fairer, I agree. The game is as fair. The game is as fair as it can be. No, it's, in my it's, opinion. no. The game is as fair as it can be at the moment because of the things we added to the game. Because when Golan came out, you would have said, oh, no, should I have a no, 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 that Lampard's goal was not the no same. goal line. Nobody so goal can line, argue goal line. Goal line has no we, we has no mistakes. No, but you said you said you said no the, error. Relax now. You said no, you emotion out of the game. No, yeah, I, I never so, said that. So I never said that, that. emotion eh, that Lampard had. I never that said that Lampard had. Yeah. Right. If someone scored a goal that was not a goal, yes. right? Now they say the goal ball must cross three. In fact, the whole ball. Yeah, the whole ball must, must cross, cross the line. line. Yes, right. And back in the day, you kick a ball and the ball has not crossed the line and you start celebrating. The old stadium, if you're American, for example, 100,000 people mm. start celebrating. Yeah, but the fear catch you free set to even blow. No, but, that's, but, I, but I was going to say that, though. But I was going to say Relax that. That's down. why you had the, the referees were not making their decisions based on the celebration of the player. It was a linesman. No, no, no. It was a linesman. Line line no, yeah. because one, not. <laughs> Relax. Yeah. Once, once, because it's robots. No, once, that's why I Once 100,000 people, 100,000 people. Start cheering. Yeah. You remember? You the race flag. Uh, so we you remember, should tell the fans. You remember, fans, remember should, Pelugui should, Colina? We should tell the fans too. There's, there's no stadium in the no, world. No, we should tell Pelugui the fans too to stop chanting in stadiums because it affects the awake team in the stadium. <laughs> they will start being scared. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you that I'm better no off dancing. having... Go for it. No dancing. Like, no, you got no dancing. Exactly, no dancing, no, no dancing. No dancing. Because no, dancing. Because Vinicius very... Junior, yeah, no you, dancing. Yeah, be, Come please, on, be think, very careful. You, what, what, what you can never say for sure is you can never say that because of emotion, you know, we need to have you need to give some, give a call because you are taking emotion out of the game. I never agree with that. There is already there will never be a point in the game where the game doesn't have enough emotions to go around for for three lifetimes. Exactly. I think that all of us have lived. You be here's what I'm just going to tell you. What you play a game, you are the underdog. You're playing against a supposed big guy that's supposed to crush you. And last minute, one minute to go in the game, you score a goal to win the game for your team. I kid you not. Forget all this what you're saying. Mm. And that's what Stan simply said. Even though VAR has done a lot, you know, they've now you can see Ill illegal goals for what they are. What it has also taken out is that, bro, you cannot... The, the the adrenaline that flows through your body when you score that kind of goal. And you flow, you, you stop cannot flowing. that's what he is no, simply no. saying VR has taking that out. Adrenaline will never and whether you flowing. like it or not, that is not to the favor or to the benefit of just one team. You understand? When it, we didn't have VR, the the joy of scoring a goal and the celebration I don't, for everybody. I, I, don't, I don't think there's any way in football that has been said when you score a goal to celebrate. Uh -huh. You can celebrate, right? But VR has to do his have to do his thing. So the sensible players have saved their emotions for confirmation, right? Which is sad. No, no, it's I, really I, I, sad. It's sad because honestly, it's, it's sad because because, it's, because, it's, because it's they are no longer reaching the pinnacle bro, of their it, joy. Bro, it's sad. No, it's not. No, you have to celebrate happily. I remember. No, no, no. It is. It is. It is. It is. Ronaldo. Sometimes Ronaldo was asked by Piers Morgan. What he enjoys more. Hold on a scoring, sec. Scoring a goal in the Champions Hold on a sec. Hold on. Let's sex. He said scoring a goal. Twice. I celebrate you, my brother. This is Ronaldo. Hold on Come a sec. On. Let's have it's time. Also the, the in-game experience um, is it, affected, you know, because you yeah. know, I've been to many games this season, even in La Liga. And honestly, this is the worst feeling when you're sitting there two, three minutes. I, I'm telling uh, you. Wondering what's going on. You know, but, you know, they've got better at it. You can see a replay on, on the screen sometimes. But still, there you like, go. this is not NBA. We don't take time breaks. This that's, is not NBA. That's Thank simply, you. That's simply what's, you what I was so saying. That's simply what I was saying. Listen, the VAR has rules. given... Too much. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not even saying too much rules. Okay. Here's what, you will never this have thing no hard. with me with too much rules. This thing no okay. hard. Okay. We're okay. saying, okay. look, the VAR is just, giving I'm a lot to the sport. game. Right? The VAR is helping us identify illegal goals. You know, you can't score this. We know that. But what I'm just saying... That this is also what it has taken out. And you can say it's Which fine. is sad. You know, because it, I remember growing up, I remember growing up, I was going to make this point. Growing up, it was also one of those conversations we used to have. You know, you have with friends. You say, ah, which celebration you like pass? Which celebration? You say, ah, Thierry, now you get the bad, the baddest the celebration. Yeah? These things, we used to have these conversations. And we used to imitate them when we play games. 
You understand? Remember there was this guy. There was a guy that played for Monaco. I can't remember his name. I think it was a, it, it was a Croatian or something. He played for Monaco that year. When it, the guy had this celebration where he used to do this gun thing. It was... You know, we had this conversation so, and it was so your, fun. So, so, so your problem... So your bone of contention is that you are sticking... It was celebration from your this uh, No, I was saying that we, part is sad. We are taking we are, away the beauty are, out you, of the beautiful game. Duly noted. Duly noted. Celebration taken out. Continue next time. Removing the beauty. Well, next from the next game, time you when be. you play, you score a legal goal and celebrate. Celebrate. You celebrate well. You be an also, <laughs> also do not Americanize the sports because too many. Too no, many, I, no, too no, many, I, no. I think that's a too many I, cooks. Hold on a second. I think I, I, no, I, I think that that's a that's a bit more. It's too. When you say things like "do Americanize the sport," I don't agree right? with it. I don't agree with it. If right? something is going to help the game, right? bring it on. If something is going to help the game, because already when you when you say that, you already block. So you get. So, so basically, what you're saying you disagree with what the, the suggestion Stud Bully gave, for example. I, I do not really disagree with it, but I don't agree with it entirely. Yeah, so 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 so, so what game. you're doing, eh? You're, you're without knowing is that you are propping up a stereotype that is there. No. Be, no. 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 It's American really sports. Let me, let me, let me, there let are let good let parts let of it that you can look the, to. When when the MLS began, how how were they taking penalties? We just saw a video just now. Where the, they try out it out. It, that, they no. tried it. It's they not like it, still it doing wasn't it. the norm. But that's that's not we that's not the way it was done in the countries where the game started. Yeah, but so the that country means where the game, the the country where the game started doesn't mean they are the owners of the game, right? And guess what? The MLS tried it and they have gone back to the game you know, started in the So quote and unquote, quote and unquote, right? They are the owners of the game. I know the job, buddy. <laughs> quote yeah, unquote, the game good. started in England, right? Yeah. Are England the best football team in the world? No chance. So, when you say, when you say, <laughs> no chance. when you say no you don't Americanize the sport, you get you are saying that that whatever comes out from America, you have to take it, you have to take it with it with a pinch of salt. And for me, that's, you get, for that's me, not, for that's me, that's true. wrong. Which because you take, see, for example, take, take, take for example, I'm you say the best team in North it is, America. It, no, it is the same mentality with people that say, oh. If you haven't played the game, you then can't, can't talk about, about the it. game. It's not entirely true. It is, fact, no. it is not true. It is it is absolute nonsense. You know what? For why? example, go for it. For I wasn't here. I was going to go back to this third bully thing. I think it's fun. It's a fantastic it's idea. A fun, it's, it's a good idea. Remember, but, people talk about. But there are some people talk about, people talk about all, Of but, course, the guy just put it there. Discuss it, and you can't come and say loopholes. these Americans just come. Yeah, yeah these yeah. Americans just come, and this is, no, no, no. That's not the approach. The guy we, gave to be fair, to be fair, I was wrong there. I was wrong there. But but to be fair, when you look at Todd Bowley's idea as well, mm. the, the loopholes in it, you you also see why. First of all, why are you, you looking? Why are you looking? First but, of all, why are you looking for loopholes? But, 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 but that's no, why. No, 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 hold on, hold on. In every great idea, you always look at loopholes. Hold on, hold on. So, so, so you, you agree that the idea is great. When, first. when someone makes a suggestion, you always look for ideas. No, when someone makes a suggestion to see if it's feasible at the end. What makes you think that that's the final product? He is suggesting something to you. Do you know that? It is, know that it, is, it is game, in his raw stage. Do you know that the All-Star game is the closest or is the only chance we would have had for to have maybe a Messi or Ronaldo or on Ronaldo the same plane, team? Yeah, or yeah, to, yeah. Look, because we talk about, we talk about people, uh, uh, superstars and how much superstars enjoy. Do you know how much joy it will be for football fans to be able to say, okay, we have one or two games in a season where... All the biggest stars. Remember when these biggest stars play the the charity games? Mm -hmm. People who don't get to go to stadiums to see those charity games enjoy seeing them on YouTube and co yeah. and co just because you have all the superstars playing in one game. That and people you, you see associations and everything they in talk fact, about they talk about for the benefit or for the good of the fans all the time. In fact, if it's for if, if what you are talking about is for the good of the fans, then you should consider an all star game. What, what, what you said just now makes what you say that sorry, let me just go. What you say just now makes a lot of sense because recently side men, I don't know if you know the YouTube channel, yeah, yeah, side yeah, men yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and you know, and the rest of they play uh, that they game. Play you see, you, yeah, you yeah, yeah, saw yeah. the stadium was bro, the stadium was filled up. Uh, and Goldbridge was, was the coach of one of the teams. Uh, 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 it was crazy. Uh, uh, funny thing, they, they actually compared that game to Beyonce. Like, exactly, <laughs> they compared that game to Beyonce. Like, exactly. like, exactly. right. I, I, I enjoyed right. watching my Goldbridge dance. Jonas and the speedy boy <laughs> that was running <laughs> up and down. Right, <laughs> Stan, 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 Stan we'll, we'll, we'll bring you in very soon. Just hold on a sec. I love speedy. What I tell you about American sports for sure is that European sports at the broadcast level and how you consume content are only scratching the surface of what, what those, those Americans, Americans can do, do right? Yeah. yeah. So, whatever you know now, as far as consuming content, football content, you, the NBA, the MLS, 
are streets ahead of whatever you are enjoying now in terms of broadcast coverage. The best at doing it. Are the the Americans, Americans had the Premier right? League. If the Americans had the Premier League as a product, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the money Premier they make League now is already Americanized. It was Americanized in 1992 when the new exactly he was already was an American. Yeah. So, so 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 when did you get to the point where you now say, say you know we don't want to Americanize, you know Americanize the game? So no, there are ideas. I think that, I think that it's unnecessary. It's, yes, it's unnecessary. If the idea defense. makes sense, if it's gonna help the game, let's you do have it. To bring it on. Let's Why do not? it. Let's do it. But then right? again, then again, but then again, you are, don't you, call you are, football wait, soccer. Wait, 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 then again, <laughs> wait, no, no, not even that. Not even that. Majority of Americans believe the most popular sportsman in the world is the is the NFL No, forget all those ones. Forget all those ones. Those ones are... What do you think they should do? That alone is already arrogant. No, you, no it's, you see, that's... I don't understand. So, Wait, no, 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 no. no. I'm, trying, I'm trying to tell you to let's be fair. Have, let, no, to let's, be fair. No, let's have stand. Let's have stand. There, there's a clear campaign in the English media against American owners and the influence that they are trying to have on, on football. And I get it. You know, football no is a very traditional sport, especially in England. But listen, Todd Bowley gave like a 30-minute interview where he had solid points about the future of the game. And don't get me wrong, we should implement some of it. We should adapt it to European culture, of course. But the only thing that the newspapers and media ran away with was this all-star game, just to get the, all that negative feedback from everyone. And, you know, at the end of the day, Todd Bowley has success in sports for a reason. He's an innovator. You know, look at Florentino Paris in Spain. This guy is a visionary, you know, he's changed football for the past 20 years. And can you fault him for any of it? You know, you can say he started this whole galactical and crazy spending in football, but maybe you can also see it as he was the first one to see where football was going. So I think uh, we should take innovation as it comes, adapt it, because every country and every audience is different. But uh, certainly uh, an all-star game is bound to happen, I think, in a few years. Whether At it'll some be, point, yeah. I, I even want to see it on the European stage. North yeah, Europe fact. against Southern Europe, you know, the best in the Champions League that season, something like that. Yeah. Stan, you make a fantastic point, and I think that, that leaves, that, 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 that drops. That closes the, that the closes, conversation. That, that closes that. Yeah. I celebrate yeah. you, my brother. Stan, you are celebrated. <laughs> you get, right? And, and good on, on this. I'm just happy to be on the violence. Uh, sorry, on the hindsight podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. I, 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 I anoint you. You are, you are catching on very fast. Very quickly, <laughs> right? catching on with the Nigerian culture. All right, guys. I'm a man that needs no introduction on this show. It remains the hindsight podcast. Um, you know, when it comes to talking sport, when it comes to talking football all around the world, you get the best information from this particular podcast. You can always join us online, um, on YouTube, on IG, anywhere online. You can always join. Even on Clubhouse, we're there for you to dish you the best information when it comes to sports all around the world. Stay tuned, always. Cloud. Cloud. Reach out.